it's just, you know, I put in so much time and effort and nobody really notices it. Hello and welcome to my inner realm. This is Animal Crossing week three and I have got a lot to tell you about but I'm going to try and get through it in about 15 minutes. Um, so a lot's changed since my last week's video. Um, so I now have an upstairs to my beautiful home and it looks gorgeous if I do say so myself. Um, I've put a bit more furniture down in here but not a lot. Oh, and I'm now wearing bare feet slippers because they're amazing. Yeah, so welcome to my upstairs. Uh, yeah. I mean, that was in the downstairs room, so you've seen that. I'm not, I'm not going to waste any more time down here, but I think it looks really cool. I am 70,000 bells away from paying off my loan which I'm gonna to do today, and then that means I get a basement, so next week you'll see the basement. But I haven't paid it off yet. And during the last week, I saw a shooting star thing. No, meteor shower. Have you seen my Godzilla? I can't remember. But there you go. Tense music. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway, there's Mira, who you already know. Um, so yeah, so we have a meteor shower every now and again, and you can make wishes. And then those wishes, the following morning, you'll get stars that will land on your beach. And to use those stars, you can then create a wand. So I've created a wand, but that's not all. The wand does some pretty amazing things. You can change outfits very quickly. So I've created a few little outfits for you. So this one I call the business. Oh yeah. By day, mild-mannered businessman. By night, Captain Nookie. Yes, Captain Nookie is here and he is awesome. I wish he was a real superhero. This one I like to call the Jeebus. I don't know why that name came to mind, but it came to mind. This one's Friday Night Fun Times. <laughs> Excuse the snot bubble. Apart from that, he looks glorious. This one is D&D. Half wizard, half matador. Spiky up shoes, shoes, toad shoe things. I don't know what they're called. This is the Kurt Cobain. And we have the tourist. <laughs> which I, I like. Sleepy night night. Which is for when you want to sleep and that is it they are my outfits I love it so here we go um, so last week um, I couldn't show you the museum because it was under construction but I can now show you and since then as well I've also had the sly fox come to the island which I can't remember his name yeah I can't remember um, we're not going to talk to brothers because he talks on for a long time, just like me. Goes on and on and on and on. So, I have caught so much. And the peacock butterfly that I was trying to get last week, that which I spoke about. If you haven't watched that video, go and check that out. I've caught the peacock butterfly. So, with that said, now I've got all the butterflies apart from this one. But it doesn't appear until August, I think. Um, and I've caught a... Goliath Beetle, which is amazing. Check that bad boy out, and it is massive. Um, oh, and I caught an ant today as well. That was what I did this morning. So, yeah. And I caught a scorpion, which I can't remember if I'd done that before my previous video. Ah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm filling it up quite nicely. Um, look at the size of that badger going behind the tree. It is huge. So I'm still missing some fish, quite a lot of fish actually. Um, if you haven't checked out my Poopshire video, go and check that out. I had a couple more fish, but I'm about 
I'm about level with where I was when I was running Poopshire. Um, I had put a lot more time into Poopshire, but um, this one I've put a lot more time in in a short space of time to try and catch it up. But look at it. Oh, it's so peaceful and pretty. Oh. And the koala the hook of Check it out. And I'm missing the oar fish, and I think there was another big fish that goes in there. But I haven't caught it. Oh, well, I'm not in any rush to catch all the fish. I just wanted to get to a good stage of having quite a lot filled out in the aquarium. Um, so, yeah, the bugs, I've done just as well. I think I've caught more bugs now than I had done on Peepshire. But also, as well, the fox came, and I have some artwork. I have two pieces of art so far. Um, you can only buy, every time it comes out, you can only buy one, which is really annoying. And my, so I'll show you the art exhibit. And my um, fossils are missing about 18. So, but every day, every single day, I put in about four fossils. And every day, he says I've already get donated them. So that's really annoying. Annoying. And I've got Starry Night, which is a lovely painting by someone. Van Gogh? Van Gogh? P not Picasso. That's it. That's the only two artists I know. So we'll, we'll just swiftly move past that and not talk about it again. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll quickly show you my dinosaur exhibit, my fossil exhibit, which is coming along quite nicely. So as you can see, cucumber and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't realise I'd finished this bit. Well, there you go. I finished this bit now. So that's looking cool. And the big dinosaur bones, I know I'm missing quite a few of them. So, yeah. So, it's also as well, I now have... Actually, I'm not doing too badly. That's complete. That's complete. So, I'm missing the thing with the hammer tail. So, that's one fossil. He's missing a head. That's two fossils. Wow. Wow. Three fossils, his butt, his butt's missing, and four, that's his neck, and five, his head. Wow, since I last checked, I have actually got a lot more fossils than I thought I had. So, so far that's five, he's complete, he's complete, his butt's missing, six, uh, he's missing a side, that's seven, and there's something missing there, so eight. Okay, that's a lot better than I thought it was. But still, every day, every single day, Blather says that I've already donated. So that's really annoying. But I'm not far off. Okay. That's it for the museum. Um, if you want to have a look at what the bug one looks like, check out my poop shower video, because I do the whole tour of the museum in that one. Um, so, oh, Antonio. I was going to look for him. He's one of my new residents. And he is pretty cool. He's not my new favourite. I have a new favourite. And you will meet him, hopefully. Hey, Craig, is it true you donated this? That's really muscular of you. Yeah, I don donated everything. None of the islanders do anything. I donated everything. It's my time. <sighs> Sorry for getting mad at you, Antonio. It's not you. It's me. It's just, you know, I put in so much time and effort and nobody really notice this but I'm fine I'm fine okay so yes I have some new residents and something that I've been really excited to show off is the flag for Chunderton that I have created where am I where am I going uh, over here um, I it took me a little while to create and it's not artistically perfect but I think it represents Chunderton in the best way. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So here we go. Yep. That is my Chunderton flag. <sighs> it's childish, but I like it. Um, also as well, my residential services was being upgraded, so I couldn't show you that. But now we have... Isabel and we have a much nicer plaza and stuff happens there So there we go. There's Isabel 
and she lets us um, change our island tune, our island flag. We can complain about what people are dressed in, which is, you know, nothing. It just changes their clothes. Who should we, who should we whinge about? Um, let's whinge about O'Hare. He's another new one. I couldn't... He, he stayed at the campsite and I didn't have a choice. I had to invite him to the island. He's the worst islander on here. Although I don't hate him. He's not as bad as Queenie. Again, check Poopshire video. But he's alright. He's, he's just a bit bland. Um, and I've already got a rabbit. And now I have another rabbit. So, so let's, let's change the way he talks. Hopefully, he'll sound better. Although he doesn't really sound bad. This is the thing. You'll see. You'll see. Um, okay, we're not going to read all that. She's She goes on as well, just like Blathers. But at least she's cute. Do you know what I mean? Blathers is just a bit annoying. And you've met Mr. Nook. So we'll we'll just leave him to his dusting. While we go and on another, 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 get my words out, another explore. Here is my favourite islander. It is Spike. Yes. He is awesome. Listen up, in hot weather, you've got to make sure to drink plenty of fluids. That is very good advice, Spike, and that is why you're my favourite. As well as looking cool. There's Sky, who you met in last week's video. So another thing that happened yesterday is my island is now at three stars. So I can now terraform. So terraforming gives you this great app, which I obviously haven't used yet because I wanted to do it on video. But you can build paths and you can build cliffs, you can take down cliffs, you can get rid of rivers and you can build rivers. Um, so I'll do a quick, very quick demonstration, but it's something that I will do off um, off camera because I think it'll be really dull to watch. Um, but what happens is I have paid in Nook Miles to get all of these things so you can do a custom design. So I've seen um, people do like roads and stuff like that and various different bricks. Um, so let's just pick that brick and you can lay a path out. But it does take quite a while and then we can also um build a cliff that looks good I'm definitely gonna get rid of that and we can fill in and build so that, that extends it or you can fill it in so there you go so off camera I'm gonna have a massive play around I'm not really happy with some of the layout it's a bit annoying and I got some nook miles for that so let's have a look at that um, so these are all the Nook Miles that I've done. I've done a lot. And again, I'm not going to bore you with it because it's, it's a lot. But there we go. So that's for putting down a path. Got a 500 for that. That's for building a cliff. And that's... No, the other one was for the river. That's for building the cliff. So there you go. Okay, so here's Spike's house. Oh, that's a good butterfly. Oh... Let's go and quickly go and get that. No, missed it. Yeah, we go. Um, so yeah, so with Spike's house, I wanted to put something a bit edgy because he's very edgy. Um, so I wanted to put out barbed wire around his house. And that's how you get your stars by putting out furniture, building bridges. Um, so I've got a bridge being built there. He's a weird character and he talks weird. Lloyd. Le Lloyd. Log bridge, yes. And I've paid for that. That cost 98,000. Um, so yeah, so I've got that going on. Around here, we've got um, our newest Islander. And again, he's all right. I'm not, I did pick this one because I thought when I first saw him, he looks cool, but now I'm not sure. Now he's actually moved onto the island. So I might get rid of him. I might get rid of him. I love the fact that his name's Hippo rather than Hippo. But that's about it. 
So, yeah, and he's, it looks like he's wearing a weird wig. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. Um, yeah, so my second favourite islander hasn't moved in yet. He's due to move in tomorrow, and I can't wait for you guys to see him. He is fabulous. Um, and I'm not going to tell you any more about him other than that. If I tell you his name, you may figure out what kind of animal he is. Uh, but that's where he's going to move in down here. And then I've got Able Sisters. Um, and for those of you that don't know, they are the clothes shop. And they sell some cool clothing items. Today, um, I haven't really bought anything today. Yeah, I got the snot bubble today from this little doohickey mannequin head. And they're the Able Sisters. Um, but you can also get designs from around the globe. People design stuff and then they put their code out and then you can use that to fetch the code. Um, so, yeah. So, that's it for this week. Um, a lot's been happening. For next week's video, you can meet my final and newest Islander. I'm going to work over the next seven days of getting rid of O'Hare. He's just... Yeah, he's not really doing it for me, to be honest. And I'm thinking, I'll am thinking, i think more about Hippo. Hippow, however you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, and um, we'll also go on some tours of some other islands and check them out. And the whole island will be redesigned. I don't think I'll move the buildings around. But I'm definitely going to um, move. Because I've just plonked stuff down to get my rating up. But these flowers I'm not happy with. Oh, ants. Um, yeah, so turnips. If you, don't, if you don't spend your turnips and put them on the floor, ants will come when they rot. So that's cool. And there was a big bug event yesterday. No, on Sunday. And I got a bug toy, so that's what that is. That's a wood fish. I don't know what that is. Yeah, man. I don't know what that is either. And here's my campsite. So this will all be changed and paths and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to showing you that. So that's it for this week's video. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. So again, until the next time, I will see you in the next video. Can't wait till my next island moves in. <laughs> so excited! <laughs>